The first and only African-American president of the American Osteopathic Association made his way to the New River Valley today. Civil rights leader Dr. William Anderson spoke to students as part of the third annual Black History Month series. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones sat down with the man who also marched with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. At 91 years old, Dr. William Anderson is still inspiring the next generation of doctors. He's one of the founding members for the College of Osteopathic Medicine at Virginia Tech. He spoke to students about why Black History Month is important to American history. Blacks occupy a unique position in how they got here and what they did after they got here and how they moved from becoming slaves to become president of these United States. Dr. Anderson says there is more work to be done so everyone can have equal opportunities, which was something he didn't have in a segregated Southwest Georgia. I was now educated as a physician trying to practice medicine down there, but even then I was treated like all other blacks. I could not register, could not vote. During college in the 60s, he met one of the most iconic American leaders through his wife. This is a picture of Anderson with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Ralph Abernathy, also a prominent civil rights leader. She had a brother who was an aspiring preacher. His best friend, also an aspiring preacher, was guess who? Martin Luther King. In terms of race relations, Dr. Anderson says conditions are going backwards. There is more racial animosity, more racial hatred, more discrimination at the individual level now. In Blacksburg, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.